Hello everyone, Darth Redstone here with another Minecraft tutorial. Today this will be on our Movecraft plugin with boats. If you have not already watched the Movecraft signs tutorial, please go do so now. The link will be in the description below. I'm going to be doing this in creative mode, however, you will probably be doing this in survival. So I've gathered the materials that you will need in a chest in front of me here. Vessels can be no more than 70 blocks in size altogether. Right here, there's a total of 56 blocks, so you've got a little bit of leeway. So let's get started. I'm going to take all these items out of the chest. Let's make sure we can actually see what it is we're doing. And let's get right into it. I've already placed a block down here, so this will make it a little easier for me to get started with. However, you're going to need to place another block of your own when you go to build. Make sure to remove that block when the build is completed so it doesn't become part of the vessel. So, let's start off by building something that looks like a boat. Right? Remember, you might ver very well fall overboard off this vessel. So, you want to have a way of reboarding it if you fall into the water. I'm thinking, place ladders on the front of the vessel, makes it nice and small. Now that we have that down, let's start constructing the cabin. Remember, you're going to want to place a door down. You're going to want to lock this door. This way, nobody can get into inside your vessel to steal it. Because remember, you can steal vessels on our server, and we're not going to be punishing the players that do it. Now, you may not decide to do this, but I am. And that's going to be to incorporate the crafting table and the furnace directly into the rear wall. This makes the vessel a little bit more compact. However, if you don't want to do this, of course, you can just make the vessel a little bit longer. So now that we have all of those in place, let's go place the remaining extras. I'm going to place a bed in here. You may not decide to do this, but I think it's a kind of a neat little feature. Lastly, I'm going to place down the chest. This would normally lock automatically on our server. So we've got that down. Let's close up this cabin. And put a ceiling in place. There we go. Now you have something that looks rel relatively clo close to a boat. So, let's add all of the signs we need. You need a boat sign, a release sign, a helm sign, and lastly, the cruise off sign. That's everything. That is literally the entire boat completed. So, let's go take this thing out for a quick spin. Right click the boat sign. I have my chat turned off so you can't see that it activated, but it is active. I just right click the helm sign and now I've turned to the right. Let's go for a quick spin. You see, we're moving by at a pretty quick pace here. So I'm going to turn the cruise off and take us back to harbor. That anvil sound you just heard indicates that we are too close to shore. So I'm going to take the stick and bring us all the way back in. What I did is I right clicked the stick and once you do that you should be able to take full control of the vessel. If you left click it, you can start walking in the general direction. However, this is extremely slow, so only use it when you're docking. Oh, there's a creeper. There we go. 
Let's release the vessel. And that's it. So, thank you very much for joining us today, and hope to see you again soon.